What's up, what's up, what's up? Um, I just, oh, I'm sure somebody has done it before. But anyways, I wanted to come on here and do um, a nappy bow tie um, with a tired, old <laughs> twist out. This is like definitely something good for a bad hair day. Um, and it's, it's short and sweet, so it's not going to be nothing long, so don't worry about that. Um, but basically, um, I'm being lazy this week. I did, I took my brush and I just kind of, uh, I brushed this really good, you know, spray some water on it. So that would definitely be the first step. You want to, you know, spray some water on your luscious naps right here. Um. Take a brush to it, gel, however you get it done. Um, at night, if you're a bad sleeper like me, you know, you can tie a scarf around this part and then keep it moving. Um, I think this works the best with old hair when it's, like, at its puffiest. Um, like my hair. This is um, at the end of a twist out. Um, so it definitely works better for me. Um, and basically, all I did was, you know, after I brushed the edges up real good and made that as smooth as I wanted to make it, I put it up um, in, uh, took one big rubber band, put it up in a ponytail, and you want to put it as far to the front as you can. And even uh, this one that I did, I think I still could have brought it further to the front. Um, and I think this will create... A great bow tie so it should look like one big puff and then you want to kind of just lightly section this off in the twos um, as you see here it's already done uh, and this is optional I have this piece out to try to create the middle of the bow tie um, then I'm going to show you guys you see that it's kind of, it was a part. You just take it and you decide how thick you want it to be and you can wrap it through the middle and then bring it back through or however you want to do it. But I'm going to leave this part out. That's what it's for. Okay. So, uh, you're going to need about four to five, um, hair pins. You should be your friend. Hair pins. <laughs> um, and basically what you want to do, you want to start with the first one. You've already sectioned it off into two, so we're going to start with this first section. And I just kind of smooth it a little bit, on smooth it, smooth it. And I kind of turn it towards the back and curl it into the center at the back so turn it a little bit towards the back and curl it into the center at the back and I'm gonna take one of these hair pins and I'm just gonna stick it up in there to secure it uh, don't want to get it too tight because you don't want no headaches nothing like that push it towards the front you know make it juicy because you want it to look like a little bow. So you kind of take your hand and form it. I use that one pin. Um, and then maybe another one to secure it. But I always do the last two hair pins um, at the end. So I can see what needs to be secured. Okay. So I've got that one. And now I'm going to take this section that's loose. Kind of use my hands to smooth it a little bit. I mean, you don't want to flatten it. You want to use the the puffiness of your hair to make it look cute, like a little cute fat bow. Little cute fat nappy mini mouse bow. Okay, kind of curve it towards the back. And curl it in towards the center. Once again, and you kind of measure how big. I feel like that one needs to be a little bit juicier. I'm going to take another hairpin. It. Bam. 
okay? And so, then I have this piece that I left out. I'm going to use this for the middle piece to kind of really make it look like a bow. This is an experiment. So, what I did was, it's coming from the front. It was left out from, sorry, this one. And I've got it at the front. And I'm going to take it right through the middle and wrap it around one of my little nappy bow ties and kind of secure it. You take a hairpin and it kind of ensures that that, that in, invention. I personally think that, let's see, you guys can see it. No, not too much. I personally think that maybe I should have took a a thicker piece um, to do that. The next thing I do is kind of shape these. And guys, I'm not going to try to get this perfect. I'm just doing an example. And whatever's loose you feel like needs to be secure, you can do that. Touch this up. <laughs> and you got a little bow, bow tie. I think they look like Mickey Mouse ears now. Um, and once again, guys, I did not get this close enough to the front. It should have been about right here. But I just wanted you guys to see it. Um, and I, did, I guess I should have took pictures. I did a cleaner one, and it looks super cute. This is like smack dab in the middle. Let me show you guys this. This one's smack dab in the middle, but it looks really cute over to the side. So you would just do everything except you would put it over here and have the bow. So, hey, feel free to, uh, of course, finesse this. And maybe if I'm not being too lazy, maybe when I do it and I got all my little makeup work paint on and all that good stuff, <laughs> I'll post some pictures. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, just wanted to put that. So that's my little nappy bow tie. I hope you guys like it. Please post some videos, post some pictures. Um, if you perfect this technique and make it look even better. Um, I like to see it. Um, I hope you guys are having a, a fabulous week. Um, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. See a picture of me and my baby. <laughs>